All right, we're gonna go ahead and unscramble these kinematics graphs. So first, let's begin by labeling everything. So um, starting with the first description, one set of graphs describes a motorcycle that begins with plus one meters per second squared acceleration. So that is clearly not this graph. It is this graph right here, because based on the directions, this is the motorcycle. Continuing on, the next set of graphs describes a man with no acceleration except between 4 and 7 seconds when his acceleration is plus 4 meters per second squared. So that corresponds to this fourth graph right here. And that leaves us with the boat here, but let's just double check. So the last set of graphs describes a boat with no acceleration except between 4 and 7 seconds where it's negative 5. Perfect. Now let's go ahead, starting with the boat, let's figure out what's going to happen with the velocity graph. So to actually figure out what the velocity graph is, let's just look at the acceleration graph and do a little bit of deduction. So here, I expect here and here to see a flat velocity graph. But it might be, maybe it's non-zero. That's allowed. Because I can be moving at a steady 3 meters per second with no acceleration, and that means acceleration zero, but it's still, the acceleration is zero, but the velocity can be non-zero. So here as well. Now, for this portion here, this is a steady acceleration. So what I expect to see in my velocity graph is a line segment with negative slope. So when I actually look and construct this graph, what I would see is something like um, a graph where it's flat, then negative line segment slope, sorry, this thing here, which is a slope with a, li a, not a line segment. And then the slope of that line segment should be negative, and then another flat region again, which is exactly what I'm getting here. So this is the boat velocity versus time graph. Now moving on to the motorcycle, what would I expect to see? Um, I would expect to see it's positive one meters per second squared, so I'm going to expect to see a positive slope line segment. And then here, since it's an acceleration of zero, I'm going to expect to see a flat region and then a negative slope line segment. And um, if we're going to be really quantitative, this should be steeper than this line segment here uh, since the acceleration is negative 5 versus positive 1. So I'd expect to see sort of a, a lazy slope here, a flat region, and then a steep slope going downwards, which is exactly what this graph down here is. Now, looking at the man acceleration versus time graph, I would expect to see a flat region, a line segment with positive slope, and then another flat region. So I would expect to see here um, flat, positive slope, flat. And I scroll, and I'm seeing that that would be this graph right here. All right, now let's go ahead and figure out what the position graphs are. So starting with the boat, what I would expect to see here is I would expect to see on my position graph for the boat, I would expect to see a positive slope line segment. Here, a negative slope line segment. Now let's look at this region here. I expect to see a region that starts off steep and positive, and then it levels off to flat. And then starting again from flat, it's going to go to steep and negative. So I'd expect to see um, a graph that looks like this. So I start off with a positive slope, I level off to flat, I go steep and negative, and then down like that. So something roughly like this for the boat. When I look, uh, 
really the bottom graph most closely matches this qualitative graph that I drew here. Now for the motorcycle, I'm going to expect to see here, since this is increasing velocity, I would expect to see a graph that starts off flat and becomes steep and positive. I would expect this part to be linear with a positive slope. And then here I'm going to see it level off to flat and then it's going to get steep and negative slope. So the graph I'm expecting is going to basically look like this. So sorry, it's going to be sort of a parabolic shape that becomes linear, then levels off, and then becomes negative like that. Um, and that most closely matches this motorcycle graph right here. Finally, um, what that leaves us with is our last graph, um, and I want to make sure that I have this right. So um, this is the motorcycle graph, velocity time motorcycle. And then moving on to our last position versus time graph, of course, by process of elimination, I have boat, boat, and I believe this is going to be my boat position graph. Um, so let's just, no, it's not going to be my boat position graph. So, continuing on, I have taken care of boat, 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 motorcycle, 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 lastly, man, man, ah, and the man graph. That sounds really odd to say that. So, I'm going to have, um, now, this is clearly going to be the man graph, but let's actually talk about why. So, I'm going to have, um, here on the position graph, negative line and then I'm going to level off, and then I'm going to get steeper, and then a positive slope line. So that's going to look like this. Negative graph line, levels off to flat, gets steeper, and then stays linear. So it's going to be exactly this graph here. So that is how we unscramble the graphs for problem number six.